Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Zerker at the Animal Hospital of Statesville, and I'm here with Kyle today answering some common questions about everything you need to know with dog pregnancy. All right, so what is the most important thing to know if my dog is pregnant? <laughs> uh, trick question. Um, <laughs> most important thing to know is if she's pregnant, because that way you know what to expect, you know uh, that you're going to have puppies, you can prepare. Uh, so if you're ever concerned or um, are intentionally breeding and need to confirm, it's always good to get that confirmation so you know what to expect down the road. That makes sense. So how can I ensure the well-being of my pregnant dog? So the best thing you can do is um, basically bring her in as soon as you can for diagnosis and that way we can know that she's pregnant, we can formulate a plan, um, make sure we switch her to a good puppy food since they'll need the puppy food for um, growing all the puppies inside them. They mm -hmm. need the extra calories and uh, that will help tailor the plan for, for the rest of the pregnancy. I guess the, the other thing is that it's great to have them in shape prior to so you're not playing catch up so yes, uh, having that just in case <laughs> kind of thing to make sure your dog's always up on vaccines yeah. and heartworm prevention and everything so yeah staying up to date and healthy is the, the best thing because it obviously takes care of the mom during the pregnancy but also makes the best case scenario for having healthy puppies as well definitely so how soon should I bring my pet into the veterinarian if I suspect she's pregnant if you suspect you're pregnant um, basically as soon as you think she might be pregnant, give us a call. Uh, if it's within the first month or around day 28 from ovulation, if you're timing, um, then you can start to ultrasound and see the little fetal heartbeats, they flutter. <laughs> uh, and then as you get later in the pregnancy, you can tell with an x-ray. So um, getting in for that, that stage is good. So here's kind of another trick question. What are some signs of pregnancy in a dog? So signs of pregnancy in a dog can be very subtle because their pregnancy is short. It's only about two months long. So you might see some morning sickness, which is, you know, being a little bit lethargic, not eating as well, but it can be easy to miss that because it's early and you know, those can be subtle signs. But as they get to the end of pregnancy, <laughs> they will balloon out, which is a great term for a loving mother who is growing puppies to just say she balloons out, but yeah, <laughs> just bam. And uh, that at the end of the pregnancy, you'll, you'll see the weight gain and the uh, abdomen go out from the puppies taking up space. And she might start showing nesting behavior, like trying to find a quiet corner to have the puppies. Yes, in some houses that might be difficult if you have children or whatever, it's nice to have a Set place aside. to go, yep. yeah, sanity place. So will my veterinarian use diagnostic tests to determine if my dog is pregnant? Yep, so I uh, touched on that a little bit, but we can ultrasound if it's around the first trimester uh, or the first half of the pregnancy and start seeing that. And then as you get later toward pregnancy, when the bones of the puppies have formed, you can take an x-ray and see how many puppies there are. I always thought that was exciting. You could see their little skulls and their little yeah. backbones and everything, so it was kind of cool. So what are some things I can do at home to prepare for my dog's labor? So that is a very long involved question, but the short <laughs> answer for the sake of time would be uh, set aside a private area, a whelping area, um, whether you have a whelping box or you just set aside a quiet area with lots of clean towels and bedding. Um, and make sure it's out of the way so it's not, you know, by front doors, hallways, anything that's going to be highly trafficked because uh, mom's going to want some quiet <laughs> while having puppies and having people walk by can be a little bit startling and disturbing. Yeah, I would think. <laughs> yeah. So what is whelping and what is needed for whelping? You kind of went into that. The, lots of towels and a quiet place in a box. Yep. So whelping is the fancy term for having puppies. So that's when she pushes the puppies out and they come into the happy world. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of things that are useful, but sake of time, we're gonna do top three. So clean towels, clean bedding for them. Um, a scale, a little kitchen scale, so that you can weigh the puppies because the best way to know if the puppies are healthy or if you suspect something might be wrong with the puppy mm -hmm. is to measure that they're gaining weight. So if you weigh them, uh, Pretty soon after they're born, you'll start to have a baseline that you can weigh from there. And uh, I'll say pick one more for top three. Uh, 
I'd say thermometer is going to be very useful because starting about a week before you expect them to be due, you can um, start taking temperature and you may see a drop down to like 98, 97. It'll usually be about one degree lower than her baseline and then 24 hours after that you know to expect the, the whelping. It's always good to kind of have that baseline before you start so you can see that drop. Yes. Because their temperatures can run anywhere from around 100 to 102.5 depending on the activity of the dog or the nervousness or anxiety of the dog. So um, how should I feed my dog while she is pregnant to ensure proper nutrition? Yeah. So a balanced puppy food is the best option. Um, puppy food has a different ratio of nutrients than adult food and it's higher calories. So as she's making all these puppies inside her and then preparing to make milk to feed all of these puppies. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of work, so she needs a lot of calories, so uh, puppy food is, is gonna be the best bet for her. Okay, what are some possible complications of dog pregnancy that I need to be aware of? Mm -hmm. So there are a number of possible complications because just like in humans, pregnancy can put stress on the body and can have some risks. So, you know, it stresses especially the kidneys and the heart the most, which is why we want to make sure they're healthy before we try and breed them. Um, but in terms of the immediate having the puppies, um, a puppy could get stuck or they're too big to be able to pass through the birth canal and you can start seeing complications with her having the puppies. And um, that's a situation where she might need some intervention or she may need a C-section to help get the puppies out. Okay. What should I be doing while my dog is in labor? <laughs> Not panicking. <laughs> Not panicking. Um, <laughs> easier said than done. Yeah, when mom's having puppies, the best thing to do is uh, monitor but give her plenty of space because the more that you mess with her sometimes it throws her off a little bit and then she holds the puppies in so you want her to be relaxed so you being relaxed and you not fussing with her is going to make a, a big difference but at the same time you also want to be able to monitor and know how it's going um, and if there are problems arising so that it's not uh, a surprise. So stay in the room, read a book, don't helicopter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just stay calm. Scroll your phone. <laughs> That's right, there you go. So how can I help my dog recover after birth? So after birth, uh, the puppy food's gonna be the biggest thing again because she's gonna be producing all that milk and needs the nutrients. Um, and that's that's going to be the biggest factor, at least initially. If there are things like a C-section or um, there had to be surgical interventions, you'll want to give pain medication, which your veterinarian will give you just to help make sure that she's comfortable. But if all goes well and she does everything on her own, she really shouldn't need too much other than keeping a close eye on um, her mammary glands to make sure that everything's coming out okay, yes. and weird colors, odors, and... Or swelling. Uh, or swelling, yes. yep. And um, that it's normal for her to have some vaginal discharge. She just had a whole bunch of puppies and everything's resetting. Um, but if it changes in odor or uh, becomes concerning, like straight bloody, um, those would be things to look out for. And we talked about feeding and nutrition, but you want to offer food to her, but if she doesn't eat, that's not really a big concern. And if she wants to drink water, she'll drink water, but. During whelping, yes, yes, she'll guide that how she wants. During, when she's having puppies, you do want to make sure that she is eating well because if she doesn't have enough nutrients but is also producing a ton of milk, it can cause some problems and, and things we look out for. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding dog pregnancy, give us a call or give her a call <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions and help you out. But do your research ahead of time. That's what I recommend anyway. Yep. All right, thank you. Bye.